Okay, folks, welcome everyone. Welcome. I'm Karen Nassimbeni, and I'm the GM at North Shore Music Theater, so I want to welcome you all for being here, a longtime supporter of Grateful Friends. Um, thank you so much for having me, Becky, and the rest of the board. This is a really exciting new board, and I'm sure Becky will talk a little bit more about that later on. I'm just going to throw out two quick facts. Two million people in the United States will have cancer this year. 44,000 in Massachusetts, which is why the work that this organization of the Grateful Friends is doing is so important. I was introduced to Grateful Friends a few years ago when my dear friend Deb Mitchell had uh, come down with cancer. And I will never forget when she called me, and this is when we were doing mostly just the baskets. And she called me up and she was in tears and she said, I can't believe that these nice people just sent me this beautiful basket with all of these appropriate, actually at the time she didn't even know how appropriate the things were that were in the basket. You know, the, the lozenges to get rid of the, the tin taste in your mouth and the certain food products and gift certificates. And she was so overwhelmed because when you're in a dark time like that, it is so nice to know that people that you don't even know are doing things for you. But I think Deb went to school with Lee and, and Gwen and Mary, yeah, everybody. So, so thank you for doing that. I, she was filled with joy, and I know how many people you've given that joy to over the years. Um, we're going to do a, um, and where, where are Gwen and Lee? Can we have you stand up? Where are you? <laughs> So I love that these, I just heard yesterday that you guys were both going through, can for those of you who don't know it, they were both going through cancer treatments at the same time. And I heard that you over espresso martinis one day decided that Gwen was lucky enough to have somebody come and sweep out the sand in her beach house and Lee had the support of her sisters and all these people. But there are a lot of people who don't have that support and that's what this organization is doing. And I, I really love that. Um, that they recognize the needs. And so 10 years, 10 years strong, congratulations to all the great work that you're doing. We have an expression in my family, we have so much cancer in my family. Like my dad had colon and lung cancer, my mother had bladder cancer, my grandmother had pancreatic, my other grandfather had throat cancer. And my sister Sandy says to me all the time, she said, Karen, it's not whether or not. She goes, it's if, when, and what type. And I'm like, don't put that out in the universe. But at least if it happens, we know we have a lot of good care. We're in the best area in the world for care here. I want to do a quick exercise. It's our own little uh, seventh inning uh, stretch. Anyone in the room who has had cancer or is living with cancer in the past, stand up. And I want you to stay standing. Okay? Myself included. have had lots of pre-stuff. Stay standing. If you have a family member with cancer, stand up. Family member. If you have a friend or neighbor who has had cancer, please stand. So as you can see, just about every person in this room has been touched by cancer, which is why the work we're doing is so important. Okay, you can sit down. I just wanted to get a, a sense. I think almost everybody stood up. So we're going to have a great program for you. We have a couple of surprises. Um, I'm sure our sponsors will be thanked later on, but you can see them all up here on the screen. Thank you for all the great work that you're doing. So I want you to enjoy your salads. We're going to come back in a couple of minutes with the pres president of the board, Becky Beckman, and uh, we'll get started with the program. So enjoy your salads. We'll be right back in a few minutes. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Thank you for being such a great, attentive audience. We really appreciate it. Again, I'm Karen Nassimini. Are you giving me a wave back there? Who are you waving to? Hi. <laughs> um, this is a hilarious story. I almost wasn't here today. I went to the eye doctors yesterday and found out that I had a retinal tear. And they, they wanted me to have surgery today. And I said, oh, well, could it be after 2.30, please? And they're like, Karen, you can lose your sight. So I texted, I, I texted Becky and I said, I didn't tell her what was happening. I go, um, how long do you think the program's going to go? And she says, oh, probably to this time. And then I said, oh, never mind, we're fine. So the guy goes out and he says, you know what? He says, I don't trust you. He says, I'm going to see if they can do it right now. So I had laser surgery at like 5 o'clock last night, so I'm a little bit off today. But yeah, but Becky, Becky just jumps into mode and she's, I get a phone call and they're having a, like a powwow and they're like, who's going to do it? Who's going to MC? And you know, they were all draw, drawing the short straw, you know? But here I am, so, um, and that's what I love about Becky, and that's why she's such a good leader for you right now as the president of the board. She was the president way back in the beginning, 
and then you had and then uh, you just followed two years of Julie Lowe, right? Where's Julie Lowe? The great Julie Lowe. Where are you? Stand up. Stand up so we can see you. And your beautiful selfless service for two years. Thank you, Julie, for all that you do, not just here but throughout the community. I know you're a rock star. Um, and I also, what I also love about Becky is that she does this work in memory of Mary Beckman, Bill's late wife. And I just, I think that's such a beautiful testament that you do that because everyone who knew Mary loved Mary. And that's really sweet that that's where your heart is. So I love that. Um, so Becky is going to be at the helm uh, over the next year or so until we, you know, no one ever, we don't want her to leave because she's so enthusiastic. She's, when I pulled in, she's like, three o'clock in the morning, this is what I was thinking we could do. And um, I go, can you go park your car? We have guests to greet. Anyway, so please give a nice warm welcome to Becky Beckman, who's going to do the next part of the program. Love you, girl. Thank you, Mel. Wow. Pass these out. Look at this room. This this is incredible. I, I can't believe this is here. In, and you're all here. This this is this is a dream come true. Um, this is this is just incredible. Um, I have so much to tell you. But first, I've got a lot of thank yous. Um, first of all, I want to thank Karen. Uh oh. I don't like doing this. Is that better? Great. So first of all, I want to thank Karen for being here and for being our MC. This is this is wonderful. Um, she stole my thunder, inviting um, Julie Lowe to stand up. Julie, thank you so much for the work that you did and passing the, the torch back to me. Um, I want to thank Dr. Kelly Cornell for being here today. Uh, Dr. Kelly. <laughs> Dr. Kelly has been a, a tireless supporter. She's also a recipient of our Champions in Cancer Care Award. Um, so we're delighted to have her. And she brought um, Al Campbell, CEO of Winchester Hospital. We're delighted to have you as well. Thank you for being here. Um, a few other people I want to thank. I want to thank um, Leslie Gould, Beverly Chamber of Commerce, for being here. It's an honor to have you. Thank you for all your work you do in promoting us. Love you. Love you right back. Uh, I want to thank Ferncroft, the Ferncroft Country Club. I want to thank Chris DiStefano for so much for having us. You've done a tremendous job. Uh, I'll be looking forward to that glass of Chardonnay when I'm done because I don't like being up in front of people. Um, so thank you for your patience with my nerves. Um, I want to introduce our board of directors. Uh, firstly, I'd like to introduce Gwen Mah Mahan Ryan, our founder. Lee Moralia couldn't be here today, um, but we want to thank her for her um, espresso martini she had 10 years ago um, and her great idea with Gwen to, to start this amazing organization. I want to thank Walter Hartford of Edward Jones for being here. Actually, let's hold our applause because I get a lot to say. Um, Debbie Bright, she's our volunteer coordinator and database um, expert, um, so she keeps everything going. Um, Robin Foster couldn't be here today, but I'm delighted with the work that she does. Um, Nicole Ballesteri um, couldn't be here as well. Um, Steve Vesey, Steve Vesey got us all in here. I want to thank Steve for being here. And then, this is exciting, we have five new board members. Um, I can't wait to introduce Jill Michaud of Gibson Sotheby's. John Barrett. Uh, yeah, John Gray of Jay Barrett, sorry. <laughs> Peter Lawler, thank you so much for being yeah. here. Nancy Purcell couldn't be here, she had a previous engagement, but she's going to be our communications director, um, and I am very excited with the work that she's going to be doing. Um, she, if she were here, she'd be encouraging you to all like, follow, and share. Um, so if you could all discreetly pull out your phone and like, follow, and share, please, that would be great. Um, and then Jane McNally. Um, Jane McNally is our recent board member. Um, she was instrumental in putting this together. So thank you, Jane. Um, I want to acknowledge a couple past board members. So we've got Katie Pelletier here. And Patty Beckwith. Thank you for being here. See, the thank yous continue. Um, Volunteers, we've got a lot of you here, um, so I want to thank you all. So just if you could all give a wave, whether you've been a past volunteer, a current volunteer, or a future volunteer, 
I want you. I got, I got you. Uh, I look forward to that. Um, so thank you all for that. And then, look at this list. This list is incredible. This is over 20 people, 20 businesses in the area who believe in us, who said, when we asked, we said, would you like to sponsor? They said, absolutely. And over 20 of you are here. Tem Temkin Financial, Jay Barrett, Constitution Financial Partners, is the law offices of Julie Lowe, Active Healing, Gibson Sotheby's, McLean Mc Middleton, Connect and Thrive, Boston North Cancer Center, Kiever Williams Lumberyard, <laughs> The Mega Group, Mitsu Misho Mitsubishi. That's always a tongue twister, Kevin. <laughs> I always have trouble with that one, but I'm acknowledging you. North Shore Bank, Provare, Ghibli's, Leslie Ray Insurance, the main attraction, Community Credit Union, Beverly Rotary, Rev Kitchen, um, Flagship, and Custom Medicine. Um, so that's just incredible, and I thank you all. This means so much that, that you believe in us. So, so I'm back. Um, after two years, I'm back, and I, you know, Karen mentioned why I do this. Um, I do this in honor of Bill's first wife. That girl did a lot of work with that man, <laughs> and I'm eternally <laughs> grateful. Um, but Mary, got, Mary was diagnosed when, when Ian was two. Ian's now 29. Um, and they fought cancer for 18 years until Ian was 20. Um, but one thing that they didn't do, they didn't worry about the lights on when they came home from treatment. They didn't worry about whether the heat was on. They didn't worry about rent or food or transportation. But that's something that our patients worry about. And that's what we do. We pay their bills. Um, many of our, our recipients, largely, we, Debbie will tell you, a lot of them are, checks are made out to National Grid. So imagine coming home from treatment, and it's dark, and it's cold. That's, that's a terrible thing. It's, cancer's bad enough. And we're not going to you know, belabor that. But, but that's what we do. Uh, and I hope that this resonates with you, that that's something that you want to help with people. Now, Karen. Karen and Linda, are you passing out the applications? Yes, we are. Yes. So does every table um, has an application? I'd like you all to take a look at this application. So this application is from a woman. She lives in Beverly. Well, she currently lives in Beverly. She lives in her car. She's homeless. And she has metastatic breast cancer. So her grant, what she asked for from us, was Whole Foods gift certificates, because she's identified that that's the only place where she can go when she's feeling up to it to go get a hot meal. So she asked for Whole Foods gift certificates for food and gas money for her car so she can get around. If, if that doesn't resonate with you, I, I don't know what does. It's, it's, it's so compelling, um, but that's not unique. So um, we're growing, but we're not, we're not big enough yet. So 52% of our applications are where we're at right now. We're declining 48% of the applications that we're receiving for grants because we simply don't have the funding yet. We're in a huge growth spurt, but we need more. And that's why I've asked you all here because basically I'm asking you to say yes to us so we don't have to say no again. Um, so with that, um, that concludes my, my pitch. I have a, a few exciting things I'd like to do right now. Um, Firstly, I'd like to acknowledge um, Joe McCullough. Her husband, Mike, was one of our charter volunteers. Um, we lost Mike this year, and we are eternally grateful for his initial efforts in getting Grateful Friends up and running. So thank you so much, Joe. And now. This is really good. I'm so excited about this. Um, I mentioned the Champions Award that Dr. Kelly got. Um, and this is, this is a big deal in Grateful Friends. Um, a champion is, is just that. It's the greatest. Um, and we have two people who I am so excited to give the Champions Award to. So it's no secret, all of you know Al Temkin. Years ago, when during COVID, we decided to, to put together a board and really get going with Grateful Friends, Al came to my living room when we were having a meeting 
uh, of just the volunteers. And he said, I'm all in. And when Al Temkin says he's all in, he is all in. Not only financially, not only treasure, but his time. He has been, without a doubt, the most passionate uh, board member. Um, he stands behind me. He, he pushes me this way, pushes me that way, and, and I couldn't do it without him. Um, he has been instrumental. Um, I just, I can't thank you enough. He, so at, when we decided to have a board, he says, actually, we are here at a fundraiser. And you said, I think you should be president. And I went, really? <laughs> and lo and behold, I was for, for a couple of wonderful years. And then we were at what I call a John Gray event. <laughs> And I'm going to tell you briefly about what a John Gray event is. And I encourage you, if any of you are interested, to have a John Gray event. And what it is, is basically you invite a few of your friends, your neighbors, people who might be interested, maybe 10 people. You're in your living room with a glass of Chardonnay. And you, one of us comes and invites you to learn a little bit more. So we're at a John Gray event now. And he says, Julie uh, is no longer able to be president. He, and I looked him in the eye, and he got me. I said, interim? He says, well, actually, would you just be president? I said, sure, because I'm, s and I'm so happy to be back in this role, and with the growth that we've experienced just briefly, it's, it's been incredible. And Al put together this event. He was our event chair, and I just, I can't thank you enough. So, please come up and receive our champion. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I am. I was sitting there eating that wonderful chicken, and um, thinking she just named every board member and didn't mention me. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, am I going to be asked to no longer serve on the board? Am I done? What, what happened here? So this is a complete and utter surprise. The only rest of the story that I want you all to hear about. Becky coming back as president. When we had that, that great, great night at John Gray's house, and I said, you know what, you really ought to think about stepping up. She said, um, I will serve as interim president. So I just didn't respond to that. Because I don't, me and the word interim just doesn't work real well. So um, time went on, and, and we met a couple times, and we talked, and I'm going to serve as interim president. Yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah, it's good. So at, at, from that point on, every time I introduce Becky at anything, I never use the word interim, and here we are. So thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm not done yet. We've got another person we are so incredibly grateful for. So I'm going to have our founder, Gwen Mahan, um, give our next presentation. I've got a fun story for you. It starts when I was about five or six years old. And um, a new neighbor came into the, a new family came into the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Where are they? Um, Marsha Ray and her husband, Les Ray, and their dog, Penny. Uh, came along with this older daughter, Betsy, and a younger son, David. And we became those pe peanut butter and jelly friends, you know, the ones that we played Barbies and G.I. Joe, and David had this record from e Carl Yastrzemski that we played on a 45 over and over again because it was so fun. And we always kid each other now um, as adults. That, I mean, that story comes up every time we see each other. but. Ten years ago, uh, we, when Lee and I st started Grateful Friends, we decided to go to all the chambers in the area. And lo and behold, the Greater Bever Ch Beverly Chamber of Commerce really stepped up for us. Thank you, Leslie. Um, and um, along with that came David Ray again in my life. And it was fun because he sat down and said, you know, I hear you doing wonderful things for cancer patients. What can we do for you? Really? 
Wow. Okay. Well, <laughs> Lee is about to bust out of her garage because we have so much inventory of baskets. We need an office. Can you help with that? Sure can. Okay, great. Uh, a year later, uh, we need more space, Dave. Can you, can you help us out again? Oh, yes, and we'll help find a creative way to pay for it, too. Yay! <laughs> and then, through the 10 years, he's been our mentor, and, uh, and his sister has always supported us, and um, I'm, I'm just privileged to award this 2024 Champions of Grateful Friend to the Ray family, to the Leslie S. Ray, uh, Leslie S. and Marcia C. Ray Foundation. And I wish that David and uh, Debbie and Alex would come up and accept the award. Thank you so much on behalf of our family. Um, how could I not support an organization with my old friend Gwen? We actually go back to 19, well, I'm not even going to say that year, but we go back to three years old, Gwen. Um, at least me, three. Yeah, I guess you, five. That's right. Okay. And I was the kid. Right. I was never a good math student, sorry. Um, and I was the kid that harassed her at the, the bus stop, I'm sure, you know, back in high school and all those kinds of things. Um, we graduated from Hamilton Wenham together. Uh, Debbie was in class of 78. Mary O'Neill was in class of 78. I wanted to tell a quick story about another class member from uh, 1978 as well. And I didn't go to the same public speaking class as, as Al Temkin over here. So let me try to get through this anyway. But, but my friend Andy um, graduated with us. He went to the Naval Academy. Um, he flew F-14s. He was like the real Tom Cruise. He was like Tom Cruise, but he was real. And very, very humble, um, loves his family, loves his country. Um, really quiet guy, he doesn't drink, just loves his music, loves his airplanes, and he loves his very fast Harley Davidson. And he actually has an F-14 in the Smithsonian. Debbie and I were coming back from Florida a couple years ago. And can you imagine, does anybody else have anything in the Smithsonian on display in this room? I'm willing to give a lot of money if they do. And you know, Karen might, sorry, Karen probably does. Um, but seriously, he's got in the corner of the uh, F-4, um, in the Smithsonian in Dulles, he's got his old airplane that he flew off the aircraft carriers all around the world. And, and that blows my mind anyway. He came up, um, came up for a concert from Maryland uh, back in like 2018 and we're sitting at the bar at A&B Burgers and getting ready to go to the show and he tells me how intimidated he is because his, um, his son is marrying the daughter of the CEO of T. Rowe Price and he doesn't know how he's going to possibly talk to this guy and I look at him and I go, Andy, how's that guy going to talk to you? I mean, you flew F-14s off of aircraft carriers in the middle of the ocean. Can you imagine that? Just crazy stuff. Andy came down with cancer was during COVID. Um, a lot of us from the class of 78 stay together via text and so forth. So we're all pretty concerned about him. Um, there were 10 of us that got together and we wanted to do something great. And I called Gwen, you know, what can we do for Andy? And we had some fun with this. We, we put together some things that had to do with airplanes. We put together some things that had to do with blues and the hard rock music that he loved and, and also some Harley Davidson things. And Andy was concerned they were going, I don't remember what kind of cancer he had, is you know, one of those big word things. Um, but he was concerned because he was going through a bone marrow transplant. And he said, yeah, they're gonna suck those sea monkeys out of me and they're gonna give me some new sea monkeys. So we found some sea monkeys. Remember the sea monkeys that we had in class and we put those in there and everything. And thanks to Gwen, we shipped that down to Maryland, and that really made his day, and still we talk about that, and, um, and we're all still very supportive of him. He's doing pretty well. He's doing very well, actually. He has his ups and downs and so forth, but I just want to say we're really, really happy to, to support this group. We're happy to support, you know, um, to Gwen and Lee, who I also know, and, um, and glad to be a part of it. 
and glad we could. Thank you for the award. So, thank you. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations to David, to Al. Thank you so much. Um, we have a video that Jane McNally has put together. A little bit more about us. Hi, I'm Susan Weeks, and I'm a volunteer with Grateful Friends. Just about five years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four metastatic breast cancer and was fortunate to receive a basket from Grateful Friends. Hi, I'm Casey, and I volunteer for Grateful Friends. When I was 35, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. Hi, my name is Nicole Avgis, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer seven months pregnant back in January. It was a shock and it was very scary, but Grateful Friends had helped me through the whole process. Hi, my name is Patricia Gonzalez and I'm a, I'm a resource specialist for Dana-Farber Cancer Institute, Mary Valley. Um, Grateful Friends is a wonderful organization. I have worked with them for quite a few years now. They have assisted um, a lot of my cancer patients, um, patients who are going to treatment and are in financial need. Grateful Friends has been able to assist in many ways. They do have different programs. One of them is the financial assistance to assist with pain and utility bill. They also have the need a break program when a patient would like to take a break from all the, you know, medical stuff that's happening and they perhaps want to go visit a restaurant or a sports event. Grateful Friend is able to um, assist with that. And then also the thank you program when a patient wants to say thank you to a caregiver or a family friend um, that is assisting them when they go into this treatment. So it's a wonderful organization, wonderful foundation. I really want to thank you, Grateful Friends, for um, all the assistance you have been given to my patients here at Dana-Farber Merrimack Valley. Thank you. Comfort Baskets contains items that are helpful for adult cancer patients who are going through something that's very scary in their lives, and I, and I get that. Um, those items may include something that can help them with chemo or treatment side effects, or even mindfulness, and maybe just something with comfort, which is what everybody needs during a chemo diagnosis. I had done one chemotherapy session, still pregnant, um, and then my second chemotherapy session, my first postpartum, I was welcomed to the infusion room with baskets and balloons and just a wonderful spread of these wonderful gifts um, provided by grateful friends. When I was diagnosed, everybody came out of the woodwork for me, whether it was my family, my friends, my neighbors. I finished active treatment three years ago. My son was one at the time and he's now four. And the biggest blessing is that I was so afraid when I was diagnosed that he wouldn't remember me. And I am so grateful that we're at a point where I'm, I'm done with active treatment and still an active participant in my, my family and my son's lives. About a year ago, I'd made the decision to retire. I used to joke with people that being one of the best jobs would be like a delivery person for a, fl a florist. You know, seeing those smiles on people's faces all day. And as a volunteer for Grateful Friends, I not only make those baskets, but I get the enjoyment of delivering those baskets to people and seeing the smiles on their faces that puts a smile on my face. So I learned about Grateful Friends one year ago today. As soon as I learned about Grateful Friends, I went on their website and learned more about their mission and everything that they do to help everyone in our community. And as soon as I learned more, I immediately knew that I wanted and needed to be part of the volunteer team to, to finally be able to give back.
now that my son is seven months old and I'm finished with radiation, um, looking back and just really realizing all of the things that Grateful Friends has done for us. Um, so they make a difference and I hope they can make a difference in many other lives um, and treatments just like mine. So if anyone's interested in joining, you know, we have lots of opportunities. I also make the baskets, I join on committees, and it just gives you a good feeling when you're helping other people out, especially when I'm going through the same thing. Now I'd like to invite Liz Callan in. Uh, she's one of our volunteers, big supporter. Um, she's going to speak up for just a minute. Great. Thank you. Hi, everybody. Thank you for uh, having me and for being part of this great event. I'm thrilled to be here. Um, as my grandmother would say, give grace to everybody because you don't know what people are going through in the course of their days. And we are surrounded in this room by a lot of heroes, people who are patients, people who are caregivers, people who are social workers. People who are doctors, people who are friends, and people who are supporters. And each of you have a role on that list, so thank you. What I want to start today by um, doing is sharing with you some opportunities to give back now, and hopefully this is an entertaining piece of the program. Um, first, I want to say that we have two things to, that I'm going to be able to offer as an idea. One is an auction item that's pretty exciting. And then after that, a paddle race. So first let me talk with you a little bit about this auction item. How many people in here are or have been friends with or have a family member who is a Boston sports fan? Anybody? You know a few people, a few people. So um, I had a family friend who would say to me year after year after year, those Red Sox, they'll break your heart. They'll break your heart. Well, guess who doesn't break your heart in 2023 and 2024? The Celtics. And guess what we have to offer as an auction item? One wonderful, wonderful opportunity for seats so close to the, um, to the floor. Even if you're not a great player, you might be able to hit the basket. Really great seats. And um, the uh, date is something that can be determined between you and the generous donor, and his name is Joel Abramson, and he is so happy and delighted to support Grateful Friends with this donation. So may I start the bidding for two Celtics tickets to our champions. I'll start at $300. Would anyone like $300? Number 72, $300. Do I hear $350? Anybody? Number eight. How about 400? Anybody for 400? Um, I can't, my glasses need help. 130, 130. How about $500? Okay, 195. No, 143. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. How about um, 450? 29 on the left. 29 on the left. 29 and how about 500? 75. <laughs> Do I dare go to 600? Ooh, wow, we've got a lot of people. All right, 130, 29 and 75. How about 700? Okay. Oh my goodness, these people are persistent. 29, 75 and 130. All right, 750. Number 29 and number 75. And number 130. 800. Oh, okay. 1,000. Oh, and 75 right back at you and 130. Uh, all right, 1,100. 1,200. 1,300. 1,400. 1,500. Woo, it's a, it's a battle. 75 and 130. 1,500, what? 114 in the mix. Um, 1,600, okay, 130, 170, holding strong. 
1700, 1800, 1900. Oh, you're tough. 2000, 2100, 2100. Going once, going twice, gone to 75. <laughs> Well, that is exciting. I'm sorry, what's your name? Melissa. Melissa has generously earned two tickets to the Celtics. Fantastic. And great gratitude from all of us. Thank you. Thank you for that. So next part of our program, I'm going to move on rather quickly, is to tell you that we have this paddle raise portion, and that's why you all have paddles, or many of you, I guess, have paddles. The idea here is um, that uh, if you are able to make a donation, please raise your paddle high um, when I say an, a, a dollar amount. I'm going to tell you what it is that these um, uh, donations are able to, uh, to achieve. And it's important stuff. Um, if you must dash out the door, you can use Venmo on your, on your um, tables is the uh, code for Venmo, or you can check out at the, at the door before you go. How am I doing? Okay, any other? Okay, so uh, moving on. Um, for all of you heroes among us who are doing great things, it's important to know, I, if you haven't had a chance to take a look at that sheet that describes the one homeless person that was uh, mentioned earlier who is really benefiting in a very modest but important way, there are many stories about this. Cancer just does not know um, people's economics, does not know people's situations, and it strikes it strikes everywhere. So, what I'd like to do is start the paddle raise, if I may, at $5,000. Would anybody be willing to make a donation of $5,000? Wow. Number 117 and number 72. Um, for Joy Franciscan Stanley from Hamilton and Utah. Joy Franciscan Stanley from Utah. Amen. One of our high school friends. One of our high school buddies. Um, and Peter. Peter, number 72. Yes, uh, Thank you. Uh, I, I just want to mention that I lost my older sister uh, and her son, my nephew, in 2024 from cancer. Oh, wow. Tough year. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. The next amount that I want to say is a little unorthodox, $2,270. Do we have anybody who would like to make that donation? Thank you. Nicole. Nicole, as you saw in the video, is just a grateful patient and a grateful friend of grateful friends. And she's with her child. And, and what is your baby's name? Cleo. Cleo? Leo. 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 Okay, everybody a clap for Leo. With pacifier. Very, very handsome. Adorable. <laughs> Adorable. Good taste. He um, and Nicole have made this donation because she was so grateful for the support she received from Grateful Friends. She held a fundraiser of her own and raised this amount. So we are deeply grateful for taking that extra step and making that possible. Thank you, Nicole. The next paddle raise amount is $1,000. Would, would anyone like to make a donation of $1,000? Amen. All right. Thank you, Dave Ray and Al Tampkin. Can you do and, oh, I'm sorry. 126. Again, I need a new prescription. 114. 107. Thank you very much. And 48. And two fabulous people in the front here who don't have paddles. We will find you. <laughs> thank you. That's really lovely. Thank you. Um, the next number is 250. Would anyone like to make a donation of 250? Um, number 83, number 109, number 36, number 99, number 27. Um, I'm sorry if I haven't called you. Number 83, 19, 109, 63. 109, thank you. 91. Pardon me? We skipped the $500 junction. Okay, we can go back to that. All right, thank you. 8, 
23, 38, 55, 1, 1, 4, 3. it's smudged, 143, 1, 4, thank you, um, 93, 44, thank you very much, 130. and 130, at 130, you are persistent, good job thank back there, thank you. I've been corrected. Forgive me, we have another opportunity to make a greater donation at 500. Is there anybody in the room who would like to make a donation at 500? Why, surprise, number 35. Thank you for that, lovely. Thank you very, very much. All right, and then moving on to 100. Is there anybody in this room who would like to make a gift of $100? Thank you. 117, 141, 138, 15. Okay. Well, if you just hold your paddles up, someone's going to come and accost you and grab the paddle. <laughs> Even easier than putting up with my eyesight. Fantastic. We're really lucky to have so many um, people here who've been touched by this story and to celebrate with us today. This is a real birthday party for Grateful Friends, hence the balloons, hence the joyful gathering. And it's just gratifying to see so many people who've been touched by this organization and have given back and made a contribution. I personally want to say thank you to Gwen and to Lee for um, introducing me to Grateful Friends. It's been very meaningful for me and I look forward to more time with you. Um, is there anything else that we need to say while we're up here? Becky, are you going to come back up and close us out? I just wanted to thank you for your hard work. Oh, I'm thrilled. Are you kidding? No. Anyway, thank it's you. an honor to be, meet you and look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I, I've just been encouraged, if you would, to please pay by table with Venmo or checks or at the um, desk as you check out. Housekeeping. Thank you. So that closes our program, and I can't thank you enough for being here. This has been, you've been so, your generosity has been overwhelming, and I just thank you. We're not done with all of you. We will be having a, a spring fundraiser. We're not ready to announce it yet, but um, we hope to see you again soon. Thank you.